Today is Friday, a day of shock to our senses, our moral fiber, and to our very beings. It began simply enough. Five bells on our direct wire from the United States Weather Bureau. The time, 11 a.m., April 3rd, 1964. The newsman on duty on receipt of the severe weather alert moves into instant action. He turns the alert over to the announcer on duty. He, in turn, immediately breaks into the program in progress. The process of information is underway. The mobilization of the crew needed to handle a possible disaster is set up. KG-5500 is in the area of turbulence. He reports high winds and requests that another unit be immediately sent to the airport and prepare to fly as soon as conditions permit. He also requests that the sliding top station wagon that is radio equipped be assigned to the news department and placed on immediate standby in case of possible sound interviews with victims. While this activity was feverishly being carried out, station weathermen, wise in the ways of a full-blown Texas twister, requested and were granted permission to move television cameras out of the studios to allow viewers to see what was coming down their throats, straight down the riverbed, jokingly known as Tornado Alley, Wichita Falls. Take a look now at these clouds as they are forming in the distance. This is looking toward the west-northwest of the Channel 6 studios. You can see a great deal of turbulence in these clouds. They're dipping, falling, rising once again. There's also at the bottom of the screen or just above the ground quite a lot of smoke, Paul. I don't know what that's from. All in all, it looks now as though we might just have a... Uh, rather severe conditions on our hands. Now, as we have advised you on Channel 6 News, as well as Weather in Motion, there is a severe thunderstorm forecast out for the immediate Wichita Falls area and most of the Channel 6 viewing area. The severe weather forecast is in effect and will remain in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. These clouds continue to swirl about us, sometimes dipping, sometimes rising. The winds have picked up considerably in the last few minutes. We'll keep you posted as things do develop as we get further information from the United States Weather Bureau. Now again, I'll repeat a bulletin received just moments ago from the Weather Bureau. That bulletin reads as follows. A tornado has been reported developing in the area of the Seymour Road and Highway 269. The funnel cloud or the extreme turbulence is moving eastward. All interests in that area of the Seymour Road and Highway 269 have been alerted or should now be alerted to seek safety. We're scanning the skies now with the Channel 6 camera from the rear of our Channel 6 studio location. Dee Fletcher, what do you have there? Mm -hmm. uh, just a, a repeat of this. Uh, a tornado reported developing in the area of the Seymour Road and Highway 369. That, that is a correction. correction. All persons in the Wichita Falls area and Burke Burnett should take immediate safety precautions. Uh, we had a report from the Channel 6 radar unit that there is quite a lot of turbulence under uh, this smoky condition over there, and that um, he said it was quite unreal, the uh, turbulence there with the strong winds and so on. Today we noticed just a moment ago on our own Channel 6 weather radar, there's a very dark area just to the north of Wichita Falls, which would indicate uh, severe turbulence, quite possibly a very heavy uh, deposit of moisture, and that could be in the form of rain, maybe even hail. If you look down near the horizon now, John, uh, this should be to the right of your screen. You'll see some more dust or smoke being picked up. From here, it appears to be along the river bottoms of the Wichita River. That would be across the Seymour Highway and over in the Wichita River bottom vicinity. So there's a great deal of turbulence right within this area. And, uh, Dee, this is, uh, at this time, a little reminiscent of... Uh, situation we had here, I believe, back in the summer of, uh, was it 1959, where Channel 6 made a television first by putting on the air live a tornado. Now, we haven't seen one today. Let's hope that we don't, although we do have this uh, report from the Weather Bureau that a tornado funnel has been spotted developing. So far, we don't have one to show you today, and as I say, I hope we won't. I we we won't might either. repeat that bulletin again. Uh, just uh, to say that this uh, is developing at Highway 369, moving eastward. And all interest in that area should, of course, take uh, safety precautions.
this was the picture presented on radar at the television station. The radar scanning on the 20-mile scale confirmed the take cover warning issued by the Weather Bureau. The large area of black surrounded by a ring of white meant destruction. As the twister made its motions of leaping and diving, dipping and weaving, this clear-cut path of destruction was being mowed through Sunset Terrace and Lincoln Heights, two highly populated residential areas of Wichita Falls, Texas. As the twister moved into Lincoln Heights, we changed our live camera position, and the first inkling of what we were seeing began to dawn on even the hardest newsman, well used to seeing violence and destruction. Now we have a picture of it once again, Jack. About the only thing I can say at the moment is that the funnel appears to be moving away from Wichita Falls proper, but is now, at the moment, apparently, very close to Shepherd Air Force Base. We have quite a lot of confusion out in this area, not only at the station, with people wondering what's going to happen, but a good many cars stopped along the Seymour Highway, where, uh, uh, from their vantage point, this tornado funnel, and it's definitely that, stands out quite well. We have only remnants of reports of damage so far. Jack Britton tells me that uh, Larry Whirl, a Channel 6 newsman, is out in a news unit right now. He uh, has reported in that there was damage to a house on the Iowa Park Road. We don't know the extent of that damage at this time. You can see for yourself the funnel. This is a large one, Jack. Uh, as a rule, uh, the funnels I've seen in the past have been uh, very narrow, and they just uh, uh, almost like a string hang down toward the earth. This is quite large. I would uh, say, uh, hazarding a guess, that this is uh, covering a very large area of ground. Now, uh, thank you, Dee. We just have another weather bulletin. I repeat it for you. The tornado has uh, moved just west of the airport, so it is definitely in the Shepherd area. It is moving between northeast and east, moving toward the Shepherd Air Force Base area. So you folks out there, please be alerted. Please be alerted. This tornado funnel is moving into the Shepherd Air Force Base area or moving in that direction. It is not near Wichita Falls proper. It is moving into the Shepherd Air Force Base area. The tornado, according to this weather wire bulletin, has been located just west of the airport, very close to the Weather Bureau offices. Ted, at one time I noticed that this tornado t apparently changed uh, directions uh, oh, two or three times when it was first born and spawned over in the southwest. At one time it appeared to be coming directly toward uh, Wichita Falls, the Channel 6 Tower, then it moved off to the northwest, and now it's turned around and it started back uh, toward Shepard Air Force Base. Uh, just a moment. Uh, we understand that uh, one of the radio station's towers have been knocked down. One of the radio station towers here in town have been knocked down by the force of this thing. We still, of course, don't have any reports of extent of damage. We hope no, there have been no injuries. I will, however, repeat this very urgent bulletin just received from the Weather Bureau. That is that this funnel, which you can now see on your screens, is just west of the airport. It is moving uh, between northeast and easterly in direction and moving towards the Shepherd Air Force Base area. You folks out at Shepherd, please uh, take all necessary precautions, advise your friends, immediate neighbors that there is uh, an impending uh, problem here with this uh, tornado funnel, which is still very visible from this location. And Jack, I see a tremendous pall of dust in the area of Shepherd Air Force Base. This is much larger than the pall that uh, accompanied the 1958 tornadoes, Ted. And also, may I add, and I wasn't here at the moment, you may have already had this on, I understand that key uh, NIN radio towers all, have been all, taken down. All of down. the radio stations are off, according to the most recent report we have here. Well, uh, I see one set of towers still standing. So that would be KWFTs. That, yes, I understand that uh, at least one of the station's towers have been knocked down. And uh, Larry Worrell reports that KNIN's towers on the Seymour, or rather on the Apple Park Road, were knocked down. At this point, the tornado was entering the Shepherd Air Force Base area. The white arrow points out on radar the hook or black finger, which is characteristic of a tornado-bearing thunderstorm cell. From where this tornado started and from where it is right now, you'd find that it's almost a northeasterly course. And Jack, now that the uh, lighting has, uh, for some reason, rather changed, probably because the sun has come out, you can see the tremendous plume of, uh, of 
dirty brown uh, dust and debris rising above that area around the funnel itself or the remnants of the funnel, and we can't determine which at that time. Jack, I think we've done just about all we can to this point to describe exactly what has happened. Uh, reports of damage, injuries, if there have been any, and I hope not, have not as yet come in. Certainly, we don't have any sort of a complete report to give you. Now, now we have another uh, appearance of a funnel. Yes. Can, you, can you swing around and get that, please? Uh, a white rope effect. Uh, very definitely, that funnel is still with us, which is uh, right above and possibly just beyond Shepherd Air Force Base. That is still a funnel, Jack, and a big one. This is uh, more the picture tornado that you that you see in your mind's eye when you hear the word tornado. Nothing like we've been watching for the last 30 minutes, Ted, but this No, at this first, is the column, actual... the actual tornado column was very wide. It was rather ill-defined because of clouds and smoke. Within the confines of the funnel itself, we have a great pressure of uh, precipitation, probably hail, certainly very very strong rains, a lot of uh, very, very well-packed precipitation right in the small area. That's giving you the black return just to the northeast of Wichita Falls, probably more in a northerly direction on our weather radar screen. Yes, Jack. Uh, Larry Worrell has just reported into us that there has been heavy damage in Sunset Terrace. Oh, good Lord. This is what the aftermath of a tornado looks like. It struck just moments ago in the Sunset Terrace area here in Wichita Falls. We understand there are three more areas hard hit. One, Eden Hills, and two to the to the southeast of City View. Radio station antennas were knocked down and scattered about like spaghetti. High lines are lying all over the ground. People are still trapped, many of them, in these houses as police, firemen, doctors, and nurses gather to begin to receive the injured. We saw the tornado form. It was a typical black, dark funnel. It seemed to hover over Sunset Terrace. There was a new grocery store behind me. There's nothing left of it now, just a few canvas scattered about. Automobiles are tossed around like matchsticks. Uh, these, these people are waiting to be evacuated from what once was a family housing development in Wichita Falls. And now the human element, the character and his adversary. Drama in its truest form comes to life in the next door neighbor's front yard. It is man against nature and the Ra's picture, and it happened across the back fence. A man is cut to pieces by a flying picture window, or maybe a trash can lid, he doesn't remember which. A young lady is separated from her parents. All through the ordeal of 35 minutes of another world, her composure holds until the sight, the familiar face, the love, and the concern, and she sobs, Daddy, Daddy, the pet, the well-loved, the well-cared-for and treasured member of the family, lost, wet, bedraggled, mad, and hungry, is turned over to police by tender hands. The physical buffer of shock begins to wear off, and the human elements begin to assert themselves. The hurts, the losses, in the first hit areas. Our newsmen were already on the scene where the Texas Twister found another foothold in its grinding path, slowly moving toward the northeast. On Friday, Tornado Alley, near Wichita Falls, Texas, lived up to its name. The tornado struck near the Iowa Park Road, knocked down four radio station antennas, moved across a highly populated residential area, and then lifted after this damage was done. We are standing directly across the Burt Burnett Highway from what used to be a portion of Shepherd Air Force Base. The damage is, well, it's just unbelievable. Concrete pillars are twisted and turned. Ambulances, fire trucks, police officers are everywhere. Army men, or rather Air Force personnel with rifles are beginning to approach the scene to guard against the inevitable result of a catastrophe such as this, the looting of open and damaged homes. Then came the flood of helpers, the ill-trained along with the well-trained, the part-timer attempting to carry the load assigned to the professional and none but the professional. In the face of real, bloody, screaming tragedy, everyone wants to jump in and do his part. But the old adage is still so very true, too many cooks spoil the stew. There were other problems, the possibility of looting, and other inherent problems from typhoid and cholera. City manager Jack Davis, his Friday move to a close, 
issued his orders.